This week we are in Alaska and today we are going from Anchorage down to Kenai Fjords National Park. We will be hiking to a very famous glacier, enjoying the coastal town of Seward, and catching a boat to witness some of the area's most amazing wildlife. But first we get to make the two hour stunning drive down to Seward. I believe this is a scenic byway, and this is the most scenic byway I believe I've ever been on. I can't think of one that's cooler than this. It has been mountains for miles, and every pullout you want to stop at and see the next mountain. But like, as Eric is filming this, you can see probably just like three mountains, and then you have like these lakes and rivers and bridges. What should have been a two hour drive <laughs> turned into a three hour drive from all the stops. We've made it to Seward. It is the cutest coastal town in Alaska, surrounded by mountains, and is home to Kenai Fjords National Park surrounding it. We're excited to actually go walk around the town eventually, go on a hike eventually today, um, but right now we're really hungry, so we're gonna go eat. Um, but it's so cute. There's a harbor with a lot of boats. Okay, salmon, fish, and chips. Here we go. Oh wow, oh my gosh. That texture is so good. There's no fishiness at all. I've never had breaded salmon before, but it kind of pulls it together and it just lets like the salmon flavor kind of shine. Oh, it's all good. We're kind of just enjoying the view and first of all, seaplane after seaplane comes in. Then Josh is like, Erica, look out there. And there's a seal just playing, like a whole pot of them. I also just love that it's such a coastal, picturesque town with just the harbor and all the boats and the mountains surrounding it with the bay, so, so. We are finally in Kenai Fjords National Park. We're definitely gonna check out the other areas, but we're finally doing our first real hike. It's Exit Glacier. We're literally going to a viewpoint of Exit Glacier, and um, it's only 2.2 miles. It's an easy route, but very excited to get our bodies moving today. Exit Glacier is one of the few glaciers in Alaska that can be easily accessed by the road. This glacier flows from the Harding Ice Field, which covers over 700 square miles of the Kenai Mountains. They have to just be on the path. There's more moose poop than, than humans out here. <laughs> <laughs> They're gotta be around here somewhere. I'm so confused. All right, I'll turn your bell on. Thank you. There, go ahead. There's my dog. The hike up so far is so incredible. There's just mountains all around and then there's like this mossy green hills in front of it, I guess. I want to apologize in advance because there's just no way to capture this right now. You just have to be here and look around to see like how big all these rocks are and like how big and cool the glacier looks. Hearing some people talk, looking at the signs, it looks like it keeps receding. So if you come back in a couple of years, it'll probably look different. They might have to move this overlook closer to the glacier because it's still pretty far away but just like the whole landscape, 360 is just uncapturable. Absolutely wild. That's a whole glacier. So that's the glacier right there. And then if you turn this way, this is where the glacier used to be. So it literally has gone, what's the word? Uh, melted. <laughs> It has melted so much and it's just gonna keep melting, which is so sad. If you haven't seen a glacier in your life, 
you should see them now before they're all gone, to be honest. <laughs> on the way up, we did the woods way, which is a little bit faster. Pretty cool. Got to go through some bridges and uh, over some water. It's slippery. And now on the way back, we're taking the long way along the uh, rocks. The rocks? And we can see the old glacier field, I guess, is what it is or something like that. Why in it? Someone named Bobby asked us if we could hold his two dogs' leash, Sydney and Huckleberry, while he goes and finds um, a can that he lost in her. <laughs> oh no, there's more dogs. Oh no, I'm gonna get pulled. I'm gonna get yanked. Hi, hi, I know, you're so sweet. Okay, 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 no, you can't have that. <laughs> Wait, Josh, can you move that one? You're so cute, you're so cute. Oh, buddy, your leg. We are back from Exit Glacier and Kenai Fjords National Park. We are back in Seward and we are going to be doing this kind of waterfront walk before we head to dinner, which we made reservations for. <sighs> but this is so stunning. I really am in love with this town. It is definitely a tourist town, but I kind of like it. And normally I don't love tourist towns and tourist traps, but it's so coastal and gorgeous that has my heart a little bit. I mean, we're right next to the water and there's literally a campground right here. I tried to tell Erica we should bring our tears drop out here. <laughs> wrong. <laughs> but this would be so cool to stay at. We're doing camping wrong if there are actual views like this. <laughs> I mean, camping here would not be bad. Wait, they're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> For dinner in sewer tonight, we are at the Flamingo Lounge. Look how cute this little flamingo is. Can I keep this? Probably. It's just a toothpick. Our rule of thumb is either we get an appetizer, a cocktail, or a drink, or a dessert. Today we went with cocktails. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's so much better. Yeah, you got all I was like, one. Oh, that's not sweet at all. Oh my gosh, that's so much better. It's so good. <laughs> I got the halibut. It's pan seared with this romesco sauce over tomatoes and kale. Oh. Like the best fish you've ever had. I've never had that flavor before. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking good. We just ate at the Flamingo Lounge. Food was all amazing and it is 10 o'clock at night. I mean, I'm standing out in the full daylight basically, 10 o'clock at night. I mean, it feels like 10 o'clock at night, but it does not look like 10 o'clock. So we're gonna go to bed. Boom, boom, good night. Today we are doing something so incredibly amazing that if it goes the way I think it's gonna go, I might be shedding a tear at how cool it is. This is something that I've kind of always wanted to do. I think it's gonna be one of the coolest days of my life. Josh is a little scared though. Oh my gosh. Whew, now breakfast. It's funny slash weird that I think we've talked to like two different people from Cleveland area. Now they're like out here. So uh, they like uh, Ohio for, no they don't. <laughs> they move out and go as far away as they can. For breakfast, we went to the porthole, which is a food truck. It's got breakfast burritos, breakfast sandwiches. Got the onions, got the sauce, got the egg. Oh, that's gonna be a mess. Oh no, Josh. Oh man, dang good. Breakfast burrito. Whoa. No, that is a really good breakfast burrito. I know you're on the edge of the seat, waiting to find out what we're doing, even though we probably said it earlier in the video. <sighs> I'm so excited. We are about to go on a wildlife boat tour with Kenai Fjords Tours. It's an eight and a half hour tour. We're leaving at 10 a.m. and it's through 6.30 p.m. We get lunch on board and then we are going to Fox Island for dinner. So the tours take you out to Resurrection Bay and then this one specifically goes all over. So we're gonna be seeing glaciers, we're gonna be seeing wildlife. Oh my gosh. Right now we're just walking along the little harbor area, checking out all the boats. <laughs> this is so cool. I hate to sound like a tourist at all, but <laughs> I feel like today is the only day I can actually be a tourist. Oh my gosh, we're getting on. I'm so excited. Hey guys, hi. Morning. Watch your stuff. Thank you. Like 
the exhaust to the boat or something. So keep your head above the exhaust, but it's uh, pretty warm right here. And then here's the other part. I just want to still on the boat. This is the back of the boat up top. lunch we made our way closer and closer to Islick Glacier, a large tidewater glacier which basically just means it terminates in the ocean. Just a heads up, this may have been our favorite part of the whole day. The ride up to it was stunning with huge chunks of ice floating in the water and the color of the water was this beautiful green. Not to mention the glacier was massive. That is the largest, I mean I've never really seen a glacier before besides yesterday. <laughs> The biggest largest, glacier we've ever, glacier ever seen. Once we got like basically to the glacier, like there's so much stuff going on here. Sea lions, otters, goats, the glacier. I just want to capture everything at once. It's so cool. So blue. So much ice going on. It all looks so cool. There's everything. We got separated. Look how blue that water is though. She has no idea what I'm on. I'm just running around looking for the best spot. Wow. Look at these little ice caps. <laughs> Look how close we are. We're right there. This is what I was picturing. Also a coastal mountain built right about 2 o'clock at the top of that cliff. And there's two eagles just to the right of it. The face of Ayala Glacier is about a mile across. And we're over a quarter mile away from the face of it right here. Oh, wow. That uh, glacier is a true tidewater glacier. You can see it. Oh, big chunk. There's some calving. The trick is not to ever look away because once you hear it, it's already happened. And if you look around and look at the face, you'll see yeah. some areas that look more unstable than others. And if you, they look unstable, they usually are. We just don't know if it's going to calve in the next 30 seconds or 30 minutes or 30 hours.
Welcome to Fox Island, where we are the only people on the island currently. But view this. It's so cool. Just <laughs> we have a dinner included in the price of the ticket that we got. Um, and there's a buffet, so we're gonna eat, and then I think we're gonna explore the island a little bit. We have an hour here, so we're gonna eat fast. What are you thinking? I'm thinking that coming here, I was, I knew that we were getting salmon, but I was thinking like a little piece of salmon with a little bit of rice. <laughs> Bring the setup. You got a lot there. It's buffet style. You get your, you know, your salad, which looks so good. I think it's like a goat cheese fruit salad. Like a charcuterie board situation with prosciutto and good cheeses. Um, a potato salad, rice pilaf, a piece of salmon with really good sauce on it. Good vegetables, mac and cheese, a little brownie. Oh, this looks so good. Fish again, of course. One more last one. You're making an Erica face? It's just better. I don't know. That one is just better. <laughs> that one's so good. The sauce, I don't know what the sauce is. The, the salmon almost tastes creamy. Mm. fantastic everything was delicious very worth the price which by the way this whole eight and a half hour day was 200 per person i think it was under that if you went online oh yeah it was it was like 180 or something but then with tax and everything it ended up being like two per 200 per person but like this experience is so so worth that price getting to see so much wildlife um I mean, we don't know if this is really accurate or true, but um, a lot of the workers were saying that today was one of the best days for wildlife that they've seen in a while. Um, they could just be saying that, we don't really know, but we could have gotten lucky. And then coming to Fox Island and eating a really good dinner um, after that whole experience, so cool. The scenery in itself, out of this world. The glacier, <laughs> honestly probably my favorite part besides seeing the whales. What a really good experience. They just sounded the first horn, which means we have five minutes to get on the boat. So we'll start making our way back onto the boat. But this was a good way to spend a day. I'm cold now. I'm kind of tired. I was telling Erica, I'm like, I'm going to be sore. Like, my back's going to be sore, even though we didn't do anything. Just from, like, keeping myself stable. But a lot of fun. A lot of wildlife. It was a good day. 